Hello, this is Victor, RestoreYourMercedes.com. I'm here in the middle of the project here, and uh, uh, we're talking about the center console wood switches. W140 S class wood console. Now, we're in my basement here, and this is the small little area that I make some small paint jobs and whatever. I have my exhaust fan and all that, so it works some lights so for small jobs like this that's totally fine so this is the center console as obviously um, as obvious as this I mean if the only thing is that this is the uh, 96 to 99 W140 console so it has a rectangular opening for the climate control because the climate control was updated in 96 so I can't use this although I was going to actually do the climate control conversion this panel actually seemed to come from the coop because coops had these yellow switches it doesn't matter but the point is is that I was going to swap out the climate control from a parts car that's 98 into a 1992 but it's just too much work at this point there's so many wires I have to deal with uh, I have to change the fan control, whatever. I decided to go with the older type climate control, the one that was in the vehicle from factory. And as we know, the older style center console wood was split into two pieces, just like this. Now, the original wooden piece that was in the vehicle is absolutely destroyed along with the window switches now this panel I have from one of my other cars I had years ago so um, and I decided to use this because all the tabs are intact the switches the, the plastics everything is in, on point because back in the days I glued them all up with epoxy same is with the window switches yes granted that this came from a s420 so s420 had less switches than s600 have um, s600 has rather but we're gonna you know that's gonna be a different topic like which switches I'm gonna keep which switches I'm gonna not keep because you don't care for the um, you know chains on your rear wheels which that doesn't matter whatever I don't care and uh, roller blind I deleted so that doesn't matter either um, the the rear blind the uh, fader switch also no need and uh, the only switch that I'm gonna keep is the suspension you know the because I'm, I'm keeping the uh, ADS system and um, the hydraulics and everything's all intact so I'm keeping the switch to make the ride sportier and comfort sport comfort whatever now, the idea here behind this is this. Now, if you look at the uh, old wood, obviously we have all these scratches, and some people just do clear epoxy over, takes hours and hours and hours, because to fix all these scratches, this is just an example, because these panels were similar to this state. Um, with all these scratches, you have to send it all down to wood, uh, either you put the new veneer, or you're gonna put epoxy uh, you know I no no can do I'm not doing this so this is my approach now this panel was sent it down to wood and then it was coated with epoxy primer um, quite a thick layer though I had to send it down quite a bit and then after that it was painted with a sealer primer and then block sanded and this is the result so as you can see the result is pretty nice it's actually extremely smooth and this is ready for paint but the paint is not the final stage so this is the second panel here that I'm working on it was uh, covered with epoxy primer I had to sand it down I just want to level it all out just to make it smooth some pieces of wood was damaged here so this was uh, bondoed uh, filled up with filler like this um, red spots and yeah so that's that but this one has to have another coat of 
primer. Now, once this, this is dried, so this is ready for paint, um, ideally, we would want to have, well, that's what I'm going to do, actually. It's not like what we're going to have, this is what I'm doing. This is a test panel that I painted like I was just experimenting with different things. This is the paint that we're going to use. Uh, this is a single stage and that should be good enough. Um, and I'm going to paint this panel with this paint, right? Both of them actually. So both of them will be black. And then only after all that is set and done and the paint dries up, then I'm going to wrap it and this is what I would aim for this is what I want I want to wrap it with carbon fiber wrap now the wrap itself can be really applied to this uh, primed panel but um, ideally I would I mean if I were to do this I would send it with like 800 grit at least maybe what send it 800 and that should be okay and then maybe even a thousand after that and the film itself the carbon fiber uh, wrap will stick but I decided to go the next level so I would rather paint it so let the paint float then I'm gonna buff it and then I'm gonna apply the wrap because this wrap is applied onto not super ideal surface so at certain light conditions, I mean, I don't know if camera is picking this up, but there's like a tiny little dip I saw. Uh, I, what is it? I mean, maybe I'm going, oh yeah, right, right. Like it's, I mean, it's perfectly fine, but I'm just saying, I know there's a tiny little dip and the lines are all fine and straight. It's just that there's a tiny little indentation here. So I don't like it, so therefore I would rather paint it over, just complete, both of them, and then when I would just wrap it, I want to lay the, the film, like as one film, just so I can just have two panels like this, and cut the film around the panels, split it in half, so the lines will be pretty much following each other. If I could, I could even like attach these together and then wrap it with one piece and then split it so the lines just just absolutely perfectly lined up with one another with one panel to another so that's what I'm doing as you can see this is the uh, the sanding material so I send it all off whatever I had to do and yeah I mean it might sound like it's a lot of work and it is not a five minute job don't get me wrong it's totally not but um, I've tried uh, clear epoxy over the wood that didn't work I was experimenting with different things and I let them dry for like 12 hours and whatever I don't know I still would have bubbles I would still have dots I would have some dirt I would have whatever some areas would sag some areas would not stick some areas would smirch so I was like, okay, I, I may, I'm not getting something. I've tried different ones. I tried the ones with dye. I don't know if I have some samples on my table over there, but you don't see my big table behind. But anyway, this is like I said, this is the dirty area where all the dirt will just fly away with the exhaust fan. But um, I've tried it. Well, I did not succeed. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'm dealing with what I'm dealing here with. I'm gonna just approach it this way and it still would be nice because the car has black interior so the carbon fiber center console would look nice and I might also do the rest of the wood panel with carbon fiber so just you know just to make it I guess look to my liking it's like that's the way I like it I mean some people don't like it don't get me wrong I respect that no no problems there but I have my other car actually um, my old truck it's all all the wood is wrapped up with carbon fiber and I had it for years I actually use Dynock this is the old school uh, I don't know like 15 year old calendar vinyl and um, that was very hard to do because calendar vinyl was designed to go onto the smooth surface absolutely smooth and straight 
no bends. It doesn't really stretch much, but I managed to do it and it's still on the car. And I love it. I mean, that's me. Uh, this is not Dynog. This is uh, not Calendar. I forgot the one. This is the next. This is the one that stretches. This is the one that is uh, air regress channels and all that. So, you know, I went. I studied this. I actually went to classes for rapping back in the days. But um, air regress channels and all that good stuff. Dynog not have none of this. But that was back then. The vi the, the the vinyl carbon fiber wraps. They just came on the market, so that's all we had back then. And it's still there on, the, on my car. I mean, never delaminated nothing. It was per perfect. Um, I still have that car, actually, for all these years. I have it for, like, I don't know, 17, 20 years by now. Well, anyway, so, but this one, I decided to basically approach it the same way that I did with my truck, except that these wooden panels, they were not ideal to wrap over as they are. Like if you wrap over this, like you know, no problems. You just you just wrap it over. No, you know, it's nice and smooth. Well, obviously, degrees it, clean it, and whatever, what have you. Okay, fine. If you're gonna wrap over this, you will see the cracks. So cracks will be visible. So wrap can only go nice and smooth if the wood itself is in perfect shape, nice and smooth. Whatever smooth surface, you can wrap it. It will be perfect. So that's what I want to do. There is one thing that I might like, I'm not sure, maybe, if I paint it and the paint lays out perfectly, ideally flat and nice and black, maybe, just maybe, I'm going to just leave it black, paint it black, maybe, but I don't know, we'll see. First I have to get them both painted and then let it dry and if it everything, I mean if I like the result, maybe, just maybe, I'll leave it just like black like this and you know nice shiny black paint I might do that maybe all right so this is the approach with the wood the front bumper I worked on today it's like prepped I got the cracks repaired with uh, fiberglass and um, I uh, had the plastic compound to go over like the, the, the bondo filler on the visible area the internals are fiberglass and um, I worked on the driver's fender front fender I uh, grinded down got got rid of the rust rust dissolver um, etching primer then I had the rust um, uh, rust reformer that's a special primer that reforms the rust so you can actually spray it and then you can actually paint right over it because it's it's the rust, I mean, I don't know, it's like, it says on the can that you spray it and then it dissolves the rust and makes it usable to be painted over and stops the process of corrosion. So uh, some areas I have to use that, straighten the, solar, straighten the fender out, all send it down, so that fender is ready for um, final sealer primer. I don't know, for some reason I like sealer primer because that thing lays down so flat and then you can just... Um, send it down a little bit here and there and that and then um, I might pick up a passenger side uh, front fender because mine has a little bit of a damage so I might as well just go to my buddy and get the fender from him he has a, a nice fender so yeah so idea here is just to at least start with the front of the vehicle paint the front and um, I do have uh, other videos I mean I think it's part uh, 13 14 whatever many parts already and um, that will be about what's happening with the vehicle interior progress climate control i did and that thing works now the um, center console is installed the um, i don't know i just waiting for these panels so i can put the panels and put the radio back in because climate control is done so yeah I'm, I'm just saying it's like it's a project so there's so many little things and it's just like i'm running around and I have very little time left before the weather turns and yeah so I'm trying to get the paint situation done if I will be if I will manage to paint the front of the vehicle at least it's obviously going to be uh, easier on me to do the rest because the rest is in good shape the front fenders were the worst the hood is, is was, oh, that was horrible and uh, yeah so okay so 
like I said, I talk too much because my 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 you know my my thoughts are running through my brain like this so many different things and I still have to finish with this. So for now, this is all. Victor here, historymercedes.com, historymercedes.com. Thank you so much.